and I would want to sisi kama waheshimiwa jubilee ambao tuko moja wale ambao wameweza kufika waheshimiwa ambao ni tataha wako wasimame aha makofi mazuri mbili wamekuja kwa wingi wewe mwenyewe umejitolea kufanya kazi pamoja na sisi wanajumbe katika wodi zetu tumeone yetu ya Kenya tutafanya kazi kwa pamoja kama wajumbe that is the autonomy na najua ya kwamba mheshimiwa rais wewe mwenyewe umelitaja na umenajua ya kwamba hakika utalifanya kwa upendo wako kinani ili wewe mwenyewe wakati utatokea mashinani utakuta ya kwamba kati ya executive na hawa ili kazi iweze kufanyika vizuri tunataka kukuhakishia kwamba sisi tuko nyuma yako sisi wanajubilii tumeamua ya kwamba hatuta uh, ama tungeomba kutoka upande wa Kenya kwanza na sisi wajubilii your excellency na we are happy your excellency that this team together with your governor the UDA governor they have been working seamlessly they have believe is a majority in Saburu mheshimiwa karibu is one pillar of your own house wewe ndio ulikuwa party leader a uh, deputy party leader wa um, jubilee party na leo hapa tumeketi kama watoto wako mwenyewe na tumerudi nyumbani na ule project sana aliporudi nyumbani what the father did alimchinjia <laughs> mimi nataka kupongeza nyinyi na kumuuliza muendelee ku support president wetu and i want to assure you you people i sit with the president for long hours this man is working very hard 4 am he is up all the way sometimes to midnight and his commitment the transformation of this country is total and he is on it it's only that we found a difficult situation that was created by the former administration we cannot keep on complaining about it we just have to improve on what we found so the beginning is a little bit difficult but i'm very encouraged that moi kebake started the same way when he came in 202 he found an economy that was in ruins He introduced VAT, he introduced other economic measures. There was a lot of noise, there were a lot of headlines. He pushed on. By the time he retired in 27 in uh, in uh, 2013, everybody said Mwike Bakke was the best president for this country. President William Ruto is on the same trajectory. And your excellency, we want to encourage you. We want to encourage you that you are on the right path and just remain focused. Don't allow this noise to sway your thinking because these people cannot set an agenda for you. You are elected on, on a manifesto, a plan that you must implement and you shouldn't allow anybody to distract you from that manifesto. I hear many people say oh kuna shida mingi, kuna problem nyingi. The only problem we have in Kenya ni madeni. That's the only problem. And that is what has hit my head for the last one year. Because if you are collecting, if for every 10 shillings you collect, 7 shillings unaenda kulipa madeni. There is a problem, isn't it? Yes. Because then you are left with 3 shillings. Kulipa mshahara, kulipa counties, kus, uh, ku, uh, kuendesha, kufanya maendeleo sijui utafanya namna gani, 3 shillings. My intention is that we should bring it, we should flip it. We should be using 3 shillings to pay debt and 7 shillings to Kenya. And that is my mission. And you see Rais Kibaki when he came into office we were collecting 200 billion every year. Rais Kibaki akasema 20 VAT. That is how Kenya By the time Kebaki was leaving office we were collecting close to a trillion we were collecting 900 billion from 200 billion because mtu asikudanganye ati you can build a country kutumia madeni pesa ya watu wengine we have to we have to build our own resources 
But you saw, you know, because it's a difficult decision to make. Nobody wants to make it. Watu wanataka tu unachaguliwa na unataka tu kupigiwa makofi throughout. Why? Hakuna mtu anachaguliwa kupigiwa makofi. We have to change our country and I am telling you we are going to change Kenya. Hawa watu wanatupigia makelele saa hii ndio watakuwa wanatupigia makofi saidi hapo mbele. They will be coming with us. Mimi siku kupatia kura na wengi hapa nikiwaangalia hivi tulikuwa tumeenda ijia hiyo. Ukweli ama si ukweli? But we want to say, Your Excellency, we have made a conscious decision. To meangalia, you are a very unique leader because you have made hard decisions which are made by very few people. In most cases, we make popular decisions. But the decisions that you have taken, especially the issue of the housing, is a firm decision, is a good decision. It is, might not be popular now. But two, three years to come, Kenyans will look back and say, yes, His Excellency Dr. William Ruto was right. And when it comes to that time of making that decision, they will look at it. Your Excellency, I am one of those converted. In December, in 2022, but I want to assure you, Your Excellency, I will be on the front line in 2027 to make sure that we take you back to State House. Because you will have transformed our country, and it is not just alone. We will come with our team. Do you believe we will be part of you, Your Excellency? And you are not, you're not just saying, then, in county assemblies, we will make sure that. And I'm happy that you have been working with the government. Kutukitoka hapa, tuangalie mbele. Tuangalie mbele kama jubilee, kwa sababu ya tuwezi rudi kule tulitoka sasa, we have our patron, and we know this nation, Your Excellency, even when we met, we said there are challenges. Mimi ni mama. Na wale mama wako hapa mnajua hata nyinyi wazee muna contribute wakati tunapata mtoto. Hakuna mtoto uzaliwa anakimbia. A child must be allowed to go through it to crow, anaenda anafanya ile winning, anaacha kunyonya na inaendelea. Na sindio hiyo hata kwa serikali. So we allow the government to work. I know there are many 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 challenges. I was in the previous government, so I know even the project that we had started. Na ile maneno ingine yote ilikuwa imefanyika. So we work together, and I am 100% brave, and I know Your Excellency. And I'm convinced that when you work together with His Excellency also, your Deputy President, and your team of the, mem of the executive, we know this country we will go very far. Mambo inaweza kuwa magumu leo, lakini kesho maneno itakuwa sawa. Tunenda huko COP28. Kenya is recognized as the leading. Kwani wale watu huko dunia yote ni wajinga. Ala mmoja anazunguka hapa anatuambia simamisha hii mheshimiwa rais. We respect the courts. But there is no absolute independence. Where is it written? We have been part of the current constitution. We know both the letter and the spirit. I think all attempts to stop taking Kenya to where it's supposed to go. And I say one thing. Look at the missed opportunities from 1963 to death. It's not a mistake. Continue making those decisions. So CC Kama inside parliament, Katika Nek, will support you because we know you are making good decisions for Kenyans and we know that is the decision that Kenya required. So ya kwanza ni kukushukuru kabisa kwa vile umetushikilia, Bwana Rais. Na umeshika Nek ya hii chama, ume, umeshika Secretary ya chama, tunakushukuru. Na vile tunasema ya kwamba tuende mbele pamoja. Without you, kuna mambu mengi ambayo hatuwezi fanya. We are here to also express solidarity to support you and your government and everything that your government is propagating in this country. We are here to support you. Shikiria haa watu, buwana rai. Sababu pia vita ni mingi, tuko na makesi mingi sana kotini. Ada zitu meenda kotini ili turudisho kwa kwa mati. Lakini najua mambu ya koti ni vile vile. Akiwa una ufuku hawezi kusikiza rais. Kwa hili hata kwa hii makesi yetu ya jubili tusaidie, buwana rais. Na maajabu ni kwamba, karibu maranine yote sija kupigia kura. 2013, nili contest ni kapata ya msie lukchogyo kwa ticket ya Ford Kenya. 2017, nikaingia ODM, nikaanguka. Tukarudi tena 2017 rerun. Hata yu siku kupigia. Ile 2022, nikaingia na jubilee, nikarudi, na siku kupigia. So, nataka tu kwa kisha ya kuwa, mimi binafsi. Ama pia watukana. Unajua wanasamanga, if you, if you can't beat them, join them. Sasa kama umenueza maranine, Siwezi kubali ya tano. 
So, Your Excellency, nimesimama tu mbele hii siku ya leo hapa hivi ya kuhakikisha kuwa kura yangu moja ama ya watukana. Niko na kuhakikisha kuwa watukana raundi watakupigia kura. Umejionea kwa gavana wetu? Yeye ni mtu wa Odi Yam, mimi ni mtu wa Jubilee. Na tunafanya kazi pamoja. Na tunaelekea mahali tunaona kuna mangaza. Your Excellency, sisi kama watukana Jubilee tuko wanane. Na wote of 47 MCS pamoja na speaker wetu tuko nyuma yako round hii. Ile kitu ningeomba tu wenzangu wale wako hapa hivi na wa Kenya wale wako nje. Tupate huu asula mission. Tupate nafasi. Unajua tunalia huko nje mambo ni moto lakini daktari alipata pia hii nchi kama iko kwa hot. Mimi siongei kwa sababu ruta hata anijui jina. Watu wengine wanazafikiria mimi naongea kwa sababu nimeongo ama ni anijui. But ile kitu mimi nitaomba tu tupateni raisi nafasi hata kama ni miaka 2 miaka 3 tutaona mabadiliko kwa hii nchi kwa maana mimi naona kuna mwangaza kuna kitu ambaye ruta anaona mbali lakini sisi hatuoni unajua wananchi wakati wana nini kitu wanafikiri janga tu tunamalizwa lakini hakuna nia ya kusaidia sisi so tupateni nafasi wa Kenya na sisi baada ya miaka 2 3 tutaona mabadiliko kwa hii nchi sisi wa Samburu tumesema Atuwezani na vita, atuwezani na siyasa, we have a lot of challenges kule Samburu for us to be fighting na kupigania siyasa. Tumesema tuta support government agenda kule county uh, na tumesema pia mwishimua rais tuta support governor wetu pale. Uh, ile wakati tulikuwa tunachagua speaker mwishimua rais, I think jubilee tulikuwa the majority. Lakini tulichagua, tulichagua speaker wa government. Tukasema atuwezani na vita, tukachagua uh, speaker wao na tukasema tutafanya kazi pamoja. 